with... I'm Stable Ed. And we are taking a look at the uh, latest Star Wars Armada expansion here. This is the Imperial Light Carrier expansion pack. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like a triangle uh, and has a lot of TIE Fighters that come yep. out of it. Uh, flip it over real quick. Here's everything in the box. Anything uh, special about this one we should know before we dive so this, in? So uh, this is the Quasar Fire Class ship, is what they call it. Uh, is mm -hmm. the actual technical term. It is one of the oldest EU ships in the Expanded Universe. First showed up in the Truce at Bakura. Uh, it no longer is in the Expanded Universe, but Obviously, it, it showed up. Yep. Yeah. But it showed back up in Star Wars Rebels. Yeah. Um, so it is canon again. Uh, it has been a long-standing EU and fan favorite ship. It is a carrier. Um, a fighter carrier doesn't have a lot of weapons itself. A very big support ship. Uh, one of the things that's interesting is that it's actually probably more famous for being a rebel ship. Really? Um, in Truce of Akura, it was a rebel ship. In Star Wars Rebels, they steal one from the Empire and use it as their base for a while. So ah. it's mostly a rebel ship. Um, but it is in Armada as an Imperial ship. So the fans would recognize this one mostly? Mostly, perhaps, as a, as a rebel ship. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be a thing later. It might very well be a thing. We've seen it in X-Men where they have certain cards where you can take a single yeah. uh, ship in a different list. So I would not... This would be one of the ones... Yeah, one of the, like a title card. A title, exactly. Yeah. All right, well, uh, that's pretty cool to know. Let's go ahead and uh, dive into the Imperial Light Carrier expansion pack. All right, Abe, you are the Armada expert. Would you like to do the honors? All right, so let's get in here. This yes. is the newest weapon and tool in the Empire's arsenal. And uh, open that side up. Apparently got the side that doesn't want to open. Ha ha! Oh, part of my cunning uh, plan. It's just so that rebels can't steal it easily. It's true. It's true. That's all why right. it's shrink wrapped. Yep. <laughs> all all right. right. So he's got all of the uh, the extras. I got the extras. And I'll pull the ship out here. All right. You got your big old base. Uh, don't yes. need to see this. It's just one ship, big base. We've yep. seen those before. We'll come back to the ship. We want to uh, show off the tokens and the uh, the carrier card um, instructions yeah. real quick. So real quickly, here is... We'll come back to the ship, I promise. This is the component list. You can see everything that comes in here. Um, nothing super surprising. And... Just go over any of the uh, special rules for it. So this does come with the um, size restricted card trait. So this is a uh, ship... Uh, this kind of tells you sometimes there are cards that can't be equipped to ships with different sizes. Oh, okay. Uh, and they make them unique, and then it also has a multiple icon upgrade cards. So these are both new rules that aren't in the core set. They put them in here so that everyone can have them. Okay, cool. Makes sense to me. Let's see the uh, tokens there. Yep, so we've got your... Uh, a little tricky. Yeah, really high. So we've got your uh, tokens and all that good stuff. Yep. Uh, you can see the firing arcs on this thing. It's got to get a huge, most like most Imperial ships, a huge front arc. This is the front. That's the the, the yep. rear. So yeah, you can see very wide front arc there. Um, yeah, front and back, and just the different tokens, I mean, yeah. dials and stuff like that. So it's got two command tokens, two command dials, two command dials, yep. cups, yep. cups, yep. <laughs> uh, This is a medium sized ship. You've got the two cards, and then you've got an upgrade here. Yeah, uh, we, we will go over, over those here. in a minute. But let's take a look at the ship real fast. Get in here too. So I think this is one of the uh, nicer models they've done. It has a lot of actually great detailing. Yeah. Uh, Rebels did a good job of updating the actual look of the ship. It used to just be a very flat, boring top. They actually made it a little more detailed, a little more bendy, and I think they did a really good job. Yeah, of you can see the, uh, over. the texture. Here's mm -hmm. a profile shot, real quick. You can see the ridges on the top of the ship with the light playing off of it. So yeah. it's not just completely flat. There there's, is some there's a lot of texture, texture to actually. it. Yeah. And well, not only there's a lot of little texture, and then there's a lot of big actual texture. Yeah. Um, a lot of flat planes to play with, but it's yeah. it's also curved in a really way, cool yeah. way. One of the things I really like about the ship too is here's the front. Yeah. You so, can see the, the launching bays. Yep. So those are the four launching bays. This is actually the bridge and control room up here up front, mm -hmm. uh, and that's normally where the guns are on this version, I think, as well. Yeah. Uh, and then they have kind of this... I don't really know why they have this giant plate up here. Because <laughs> it doesn't do much. Um, there's no, like... The, you can walk through it. I think there's some crew quarters, because obviously you can get to here. But yeah, uh, most of the stuff's back here within the launch bays. Okay. And um, then and here's the, the engines. Engines in the back of the ship. Which, uh, again, are painted blue. Pretty nice. And some just really good detailing on this model. Yeah. I think this is a really beautiful model. 
Yeah, I think they knocked it out of the park mm -hmm. with this one. Again, you can see the line work on there, the flat plates, the different grades they've used to kind of accentuate different parts of the model. Yep. It just looks really cool. And I mean, even if they did enough texturing on this that even unpainted it would look really nice. Yeah, um, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think if they just sent you gray plastic, it would already look yep. like uh, like a standard. Yeah, that's a Yeah. Yeah. yeah but the, the line work on it's fantastic. Um, so really sharp. Real stuff. quickly, just to show you size comparison, this is a medium size ship. It is a medium. Yep. So here is it next to an Imperial Star Destroyer. <laughs> right. Let me uh, zoom out uh, so we can kind of see the difference there. Yeah. This is the uh, ISD. Yeah. So while this ship looks pretty, can, might look pretty good, and is a nice size model, uh, again. It's still just a little light. It, this is why they call it a light carrier. Yeah. Let, let's say that much. <laughs> um, exactly. That's, that's the a big difference there. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, so, so let's, let's take a look at some of the... Uh, let's take a look at the, the, the cards first. Yep. So for the ship cards, we've got the Quasar Fire 1 class uh, cruiser carrier and the Quasar Fire 2 class cruiser carrier. Right on. Um, just taking a quick look at these, you can see that this is a, this is a, a ship to fly squadrons if you're not using it to command squadrons i don't know why you have it on your list yeah uh, i feel like the uh the four squadrons the four squadron, probably a tip yeah. off there uh not very great engineering it's not going to be repairing itself uh this class of ship is kind of famous for getting destroyed actually Ooh. uh i think pretty much every named ship in the main like in main lore has been destroyed so <laughs> Even the Rebel version? Uh, all the Rebel versions. <laughs> uh, so it is not a ship that lasts long because it's kind of a light carrier. Right. Um, I mean, it's got five hull. It does. Uh, six hull. Six hull. Sorry, so six hull. Yeah. It's not like the weakest thing, but it doesn't have great shields, and it doesn't. It only has two defensive tokens. It is the least defensive tokens of any ship in the game. Uh, so it does have a brace. It can take like a nice shot, but it's not going to take a lot of shots. Uh, two command gives it is actually pretty good. Four squadrons great, and then you do have the two versions. It's got speed three so it's actually not as slow as you might think it is okay um uh the quasar fire one is all blue dice all the time uh so it's a mid-range ship the quasar fire two is a little more long-range firepower so it can actually kind of contribute a little bit more to the fight sure sure and uh most importantly though it is the only ship in the game that has a red anti-fighter dice that's pretty saucy that is pretty saucy again remember in armada this lets you make one uh, dice at every squadron within its arc which is pretty good which is pretty good and that's a huge arc yeah, uh, we you saw, can, again, yep. the arc on this thing. That's huge, and it's out to the maximum range of the, of the range ruler. So yeah. it's really great, and there are some upgrades you can get to really make that a nice little combo. So you would say pretty good that this would make a pretty good anti-squadron ship. It is a good anti-squadron platform, and they do have some things that kind of make it you want to push it forward. It's going to clear out enemy squadrons, and all your bombers are going to push through. Yeah. Um, so, that I mean, if you're just... Talking real quick too about the mm -hmm. kind of list synergies with this. If you're going to take some fighters, bombers, what 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 squadrons would you fly with this, or would you deploy from this? Uh, from this, you could you. This is going to push your non-rogue squadrons, and okay. because rogues don't need a, 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 right. a thing to command it. And particular when you look at the admiral and the upgrades this comes with, this is very focused on like tie fighters, tie bombers, tie interceptors. Okay, cool. Well, you speaking of the upgrades, yeah. let's so take let's a look go ahead. Those. So the commander that comes with this is Admiral Sloan. Uh, she is. A, uh, a canon admiral from the new books. Okay. Um, she is an imperial admiral, um, and she has a really great ability. So it's when a friendly squadron without rogue, yeah, is attacking. Uh, it may spend one die with the accuracy icon, which normally does nothing for fighters. Sure. Um, to choose and spend one of the defender's defense tokens. Oh. Uh, while attacking a ship. It may also reroll one damage dice with a crit icon, which normally does nothing. Right. So you get some rerolls, but also using the accuracy to help shut down tokens. Yep. So from this, fighters. From no fighters. Less. Yeah. So this is a really great way of having like a bunch of regular cheap tie fighters swarm an enemy ship, get rid of all of its tokens. Yeah. Get or get get rid of all its tokens and just leave it uh, bare for your star destroyer to come in and finish it off. And notably, it can also be used to get rid of tokens on enemy aces. Cool. Um, so yeah, what else do we got as far as upgrades in this? So we've also got the unique upgrade, the Grand Inquisitor. Ooh. Uh, this is the guy, the main villain of Star Wars Season 1, or Rebels Season 1. Yep. Uh, he is a Sith Inquisitor, and he also has a really amazing up, uh, ability. Uh, his ability is when an enemy ship within 1 to 5 of you changes its speed, you may exhaust him to change your screed uh, speed by one. Okay, wow. So you yeah. can just kind of match speed or you can match speed, speed or yeah, slow uh, down if you need to. Yeah, speed up, slow down, uh, react to the enemy. This is really good. Uh, comboed with the new upgrade, the quad battery turrets that ah. comes in here. So quad battery turrets uh, is while attacking a ship with a higher speed than you, you can add one blue dice to your attack pool. 
So, and that's no range, right? There's no range restriction on that. So that can let you get a blue dice out to range three, which is one of the few ways you can do that and can let you activate uh, things like leading shots at long ranges. Um, that's pretty cool. That's really great. That lets you reroll all your dice at long ranges. Combo with the Grand Inquisitor to make sure that you're going slower than your target. Yes. It's pretty good. Um, other than that, you get two copies of the Boarding Troopers card. Okay. Uh, this is one of the new dual upgrade cards, and it's designed to represent kind of a boarding action. Sure, sure. So at close range, you can uh, discard that. You can use this card um, to uh, choose a bunch of the enemy command token, or defense tokens to spend them. So, but does you, does the does the interceptor? Does, oh, sorry. Does this uh, Imperial Light Carrier have to make contact, or can it just be nearby? It has to be at uh, range one. Okay. Um, Sorry, close range. Close range. So oh, you yeah. gotta be up, up close. You gotta be up close, which doesn't necessarily want to be, but you gotta get up there. And then I mean, you if can you get there, it. you might as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, we have another really useful card in the set that, again, we get two of them. Uh, this is the disposable capacitors. Yeah, we can move that. Yeah. Right. It is an offensive upgrade card, um, and it can only go on a smaller medium ship. So you can't which, put it on your big ships. Which, just like the Imperial Light Carrier. Right. Uh, and when you activate your ship, uh, you may discard this card, so you get rid of it entirely. If you do, the blue dice in your battery armament, armament can be used while attacking at close to long range until the end of the round. Seems good. Yep, so normally they can only go out to medium range, now they can go out to long range. That seems real good. Um, it, yeah, it's really great. So again, remember with, for instance, the uh, Quasar 1 class is all blue dice. Yeah. The enemy may think, oh, it can't get me, I'm safe out here. And then all of a sudden in one turn, you're like, no, nah, I can shoot you out there. Yeah. Uh, also a really great upgrade for victory class star destroyers yeah. um, suddenly their range and their threat is greatly increased and again if you have gunnery teams and you can fire twice you can use your dice with both shots pretty dirty i um, like it we then have got three quick up uh, title cards here we've got the Perseant um title card this is when you reveal a command dial rather uh than a squadron command you may discard this card to resolve a squadron command okay so in case you messed up <laughs> yep uh well and more importantly you can do it in addition also Oh. So you can do two commands. You don't does not let you change your thing, um, but you get to resolve a squadron command as well. So yeah, That's again, pretty... if you messed up or you're like, man, I really need uh, a you know maneuver dial this turn yeah. to get out of to get out of dodge. Let's do both. Yeah, um, pretty cheap upgrade, a good one to have around. You've also got the squall Shoot. title. Uh, this is when you up, to, up uh, when you activate, you may choose up to three unengaged friendly squadrons at close to medium range. These squadrons then move up to distance two. If they do so, they cannot end their movement engaged. Okay, so you'd use that to get them a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. They're not engaged, and right. then maybe activate them to uh, then maybe activate them to engage them. Um, or you can move them to where the enemy is going to move for free. So you could get just extra squadron command with them if you know the enemy is going to move up somewhere. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's not going to let you pull things out of combat. It's not going to let you put things into combat, but it can let you do a few little tricks. I mean, there's some, that's decent, close to, close to mid-range, plus you can move them speed yep. two. It's yeah, not bad. it's not, not bad. bad. Um, and again, this could theoretically let you move uh, ties, you know, a speed seven move basically in one yeah. turn. Uh, lastly, we've got Stronghold. This is what I was kind of uh, going at, where you've got that, where you might want to have a bunch of fighters near that red range uh, yeah. the squadron. So Stronghold says, while a friendly squadron with swarm, those are going to be like your interceptors, your tie fighters, uh, is at distance one to two of of your ship of of a Stronghold is defending. The attack is treated as obstructed, so they're all going to take one less dice. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So this is going to make your squadrons much better uh, in a squadron engagement. They're all going to be taking less dice, and more importantly, it's going to make them immune to a lot of anti-squadron fire from yeah. ships, because most of those are just one dice, and they're going to get no dice. Wow, that's pretty good. So yeah, you want to fly a stronghold up yep. with, the, with the big swarm ships. Yeah, the whole swarm around them. I like it. Yep. Yeah, so this is a neat little ship. Um, Boom. There's the model. I love the model, too. So Beautiful model. Seems like a really good expansion. Uh, overall, in the, the fit with uh, Armada, how do you think this works into the list? Uh, I think this has been... Uh, Admiral Salone, in particular, has been uh, has created an entirely new type of Imperial list. It's really helped bring back basic Imperial squadrons. Yeah. Um, I like the, the actual ship itself. It's still finding its place. It's still a newer release. Sure. I've liked it because it's a cheap way to get medium-based ships. So not only does it work with Sloan and pushing big swarms, but it can work with an admiral like Constantine, who needs the enemy to be in range of lots of medium ships. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's cheaper than like a victory, it's a good way of kind of mixing that oh. in there. Um, it's got some of the some really useful upgrades that we're seeing, so overall this is a great addition to the game, and it's helped change the meta up and bring yeah, entirely shake stuff up, up and yep. make, it, make it a little bit different. Cool. Absolutely. Well, Abe, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, it's been a really great to have you here talking Star Wars Armada. That's the Imperial Light Carrier Expansion Pack. Um, cool looking ship. 
has a lot of utility, I think, mm -hmm. in the Imperialist and really opens up a, a whole new set of options for you. So yeah. it's out now. Go check it out. I'm Adam Harry. I'm Stable Abe. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.